你们好, welcome back to our online Chinese classroom. 我是石老师. Today we are going to continue with lesson two. Before we start our new lesson, let us check the homework for last time together. Look at this slide. So here's the homework for last time. The first one, try to count from one to ten every day. Have you done this? 很好, very good. The second one is write down pin in from 1 to 10 in your notebook. Could you please open your notebook and check if you haven't done this? 很好. If you forget this, please make it up today. Okay. So um, before we start our lesson, let us review what we've learned last time. Review. 复习. 复习. So when you look at this slide to see the homework, it shows you that what we've learned last time. So we've learned the shu zi numbers from one to ten. So how to say from one to ten? Could you please count it together? Here I show you the gesture and also the Chinese characters and also the pin yin. Okay, let us count it together from one to ten. With your fingers, please. Let us count together. E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liao, Qi, Ba, Jiao, Shi. Okay, could you please count it by yourself? One more time. Ready? Kai Shi. Hen hao, very good, hen hao. Then how to say three? Yes, san. How to say five? Okay, wu. How to say seven? Qi. How to say nine? Yes, jiu. How to say ten? Yes, shi. So, uh, now we're going to play a game for the, the numbers, shu, zi, game in Chinese, you see. Play a you see. Okay, the first game, I'm going to clap my hands. Then you count how many times I clapped. Then say the number in Chinese, please. For, for example, if I, yes, you just need to say, e. Okay, let us do this. 很好. It is er. Okay, continue. 很好. 很好. 听, listen, 听. Yes, it is 六, 六. Means six. Remember, Chinese people like liu and ba, six and eight, right? Ting, listen, ting. Hen hao. Mm, it is shi, shi, hen hao. Okay. The second game is here. Look at here. We're gonna do some math. So for the new words, maybe we've, we will use in this game is these two, are these two. So the first one is plus in Chinese is 加, and the equal to, be equal to is 等于. One more time, plus in Chinese is 加. And the equal to, be equal to is 等于. So how to do this game? The first one I'm going to show you. You can say 一加二等于三. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. If you feel these two words are too difficult, you can choose to say that in English. But Please say the numbers in Chinese. 
For example, I can say 一加二等于三 If you feel it's too hard, you can choose to say 一 plus two is equal to 三 Okay. Now I'm gonna leave you one minute. Then we're gonna play this game. One minute to go through these questions. Hen hao, hen hao, very good. Now are you ready to to read all of these to me? Ready? Kai shi. The first one. Second one. Third one. Next one. Last one. Be careful. Nine is 九九很好 So today we are gonna learn, going to learn lesson two. 第二课，你叫什么 Or you can say, 你叫什么名字 What is your name? What is your name? So last time we have learned 你好 greeting to each other 你好 and then you may want to know what's your name next, right? Then that is what we are going to learn. What's your name? We have two ways, but they are the same to say what's your name. Now let us continue to learn these. So let us look at the, the new words first. The first one, 你你，跟我读 ，follow me. 你 means you. 你好 ，we have learned this already, right? So 你好 means hello. If I translate character by character, it is you good. That is hello. So 你 is you. Next one. 叫，叫 is to call, to be called. One more time. 叫，叫 Open your mouth. 叫，很好 very good. Next one. 什么，什么 means what. 什么 what. 什么。什么？很好。The last one, next one, 名字。名字 means name. 名字。名字。名字。Okay, next one. 我 means me or I. 我。Okay, let us read all of these together after me. 跟我读，你叫什么？名字。我，对 ，show it one more time. 叫，我叫。Okay, now your turn. Please read all of these together by yourself. One more time. Okay, now last time, read after me. 你叫什么名字？我
叫。很好 ，very good. So it is very easy. We are going to learn what's your name. So how to say what's your name? My name is. It is in here. In sentence is, 你叫什么名字 One more time. 听 listen. 听你叫什么名字听你叫什么名字 So if I translate character words by word, word by word, it is. You are called what name? That is the same as what's your name. So one more time, if I translate word by word, it is you are called what name? Then you can answer that with 我叫 For example, if my name is Jennifer, I just say 我叫 Jennifer. Or if your name is Annie, you can say 我叫 Jenny. I am called Jennifer. I am called Annie. It's the same as my name is. Okay, you got it. One more time. 听，你叫什么名字？我叫 Jennifer. Okay. Now follow me. 跟我读。你叫什么名字？我叫 Dora。跟我读，听 and follow me。你叫什么名字？我叫 SpongeBob。The third picture, follow me。你叫什么名字？ One more time. 你叫什么名字？我叫 Peppa. The last one, you know him, right? How to say what's your name? Now you go first. Answer that, please. Yes, 我叫 Miki. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to ask me. Let us go through these pictures together. You ask me, then answer that. You ask me what's my name. They, I'm gonna answer like my name is Dora. My name is SpongeBob. Okay, you go first. Ready? 开始 The first picture. You go first. 我叫 Dora. Second one. You ask me, please. 我叫 SpongeBob. 我叫 Peppa。我叫 Miki。Now let us switch. I'm gonna ask you what's your name. Then you just need to answer me your name. Okay? Ready? 开始。First one. 你叫什么名字 ？Second one. 你好。你叫什么名字？很好 ，very good. Third one. 你好，你叫什么名字 ？Last one. 你好，你叫什么名字 ？Okay. Now you please ask and answer by yourself. One minute. Now look at this. So this is the one, first one we've learned. What's your name? The second one I'm showing to you that we can skip the word of name means. You can just need to say 你叫什么 means what's your name. The same if I translate the sentence. If I translate word by word, it is. What are you called? It's the same as what, what? What's your name? Okay. So these two ways are the same. You can say either of them. 
in the book, it is this one, but this one is also correct. Okay, let us try this way. I'm gonna ask you first. You just need to answer me. Now I'm gonna point out the pictures randomly. Be careful. This one, 你叫什么? Answer me. Okay, this one, 你叫什么? This one, 你好. 你叫什么? This one, 你好. 你叫什么? Okay, now you please ask an answer by yourself with this sentence. One minute, ready? 开始. Now we are going to last to learn last two new words. We have learned ni means you, and we've learned wo means me. And now we are going to learn two more words. This is called ta first tone. Ta means he or him. Be careful with the character. If you see this character, it means it is for the male, for him. Means he or him. And uh, this one means she or her. It pronounced the same with he or him. It is also a ta, but these two characters, radical is different. So this character, when you see this radical, 单人旁, it means person, or in here means female. This radical is for woman, for female. For example, we have learned uh, we are going to learn mama, and it's also with this radical. So two characters, they pronounce the same. Both of them is ta, but this one is for male. This one is for female, because this radical is for female. This radical on the left part, it is mostly for female. Okay, how to say he or him? It is ting ta. Follow me, 跟我读. Ta. And for her or she, ta. 很好. Then how to say you? It is 你. How to say me or I? It is how to say he or him? It is ta. How to say she or her? It is ta. Okay. Do you remember remember these four? Let us try it. So start with you, me, him, and her. Ready? Start with me. So ni, wo, ta, ta. Okay, one more time. It is ni, wo, ta, ta. Okay? We have learned the sentences with you, with ni. The first one is ni hao. The second one is what's your name? It is ni jiao shenma ming zi. And we, also learn, we have also learned my name is, which is wo jiao. I can say wo jiao dora. Right now, we are gonna use ta and ta. So, if I don't want to ask you what's your name, but I want to ask what's her name, I can just switch, I mean, uh, replace the ni into ta, which is for the female. So, for the first picture, which character I should choose? Yes, the second one for female. So I can say, 
他叫什么名字 ？And you answer me. You don't answer me. My name is. You answer me. Her name is. So you can say, 他叫 Dora. Okay. Another example for the second picture. Which character we should choose? We should choose the first character for male. How to say what's his name? It is yes. 他叫什么名字 And you answer me also with the first character, which is 他叫 SpongeBob. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you first. You answer my questions. I'm gonna point out the pictures randomly. Be careful. Okay. 他叫什么名字？很好 ，This one。他叫什么名字 ？Okay, first one, second character。他叫什么名字 ？Okay, now you ask me, please. 他叫 SpongeBob。他叫 Dora。他叫 Papa。Okay, one minute. You ask and answer by yourself. Be careful. I know when you say the sentence, both of these are the same, either him or her. But be careful with the character. Cause these two means differently. Okay, ask an answer by yourself. Hen hao. So we've learned 你叫什么名字，我叫 Dora. Or you can skip the 名字 You can just need to say 我你叫什么，我叫 Dora. So it is same with. 他叫什么？他叫 Dora. You can skip the last word or omit the 名字 as well. They are the same. Both of these are correct. Okay. So you can say 他叫什么？他叫 Dora. 他叫什么？他叫 SpongeBob. You ask me. 他叫 Mickey Mouse. I ask you. 他叫什么？ Okay, one minute. Ask an answer by yourself, please. Hen hao. So what we've learned today, we've learned after the greeting to each other, ni hao, ni hao. Then how to ask the name? What's your name? We have two ways, but both of them are okay. Ni jiao shen me ming zi. 我叫 Dora, or you can say 你叫什么 That's it. 你叫什么我叫 Dora. Okay. Now it's the time to say 再见 goodbye. Before we say 再见 to each other, of course, homework for today. Translate the sentences and write them down in pinyin. Easy. It's just what we've learned. What is your name? My name is. But please write down in pinyin in your notebook. Okay. 再见，谢谢 ，Thank you.